a lot of people watching my videos, uh, for instance, on the P30 Pro from Huawei, ask me the question, can you please try a moon zoom? And finally clarify uh, and answer the question whether the Huawei P30 Pro really is able to make a meaningful picture of the moon, you know, with structure and everything, or if this is just fake and an advertisement trick from Huawei. And uh, I was in Vienna on Monday night. I came to my hotel 10 p.m. It was a late night flight. I had uh, business in Vienna on Tuesday and the moon was up. It was not very cloudy. It was an almost clear sky. So I decided to try my luck. And you see here as a screenshot, and you can stop the video and read through it yourself for a moment, the debate which is all over the place in the internet, is it fake or is it fact? Can the P30 Pro really zoom the moon? And how is the result if you look at the final picture? Let's clarify that question once and for all. By the way, sorry for my uh, fan in my notebook blowing in the background. It seems the computer has hard work to do. So my first attempt to zoom the moon was with the primary lens handhold, so it will be shaky and AI not enabled. So this is in front of the hotel outside. You see the moon far away, distant. At the horizon, we get closer. We zoom it in. As I said, it's the primary lens AI not enabled. And for the time being, it's just a white disk. So nothing interesting is happening. But wait for a moment. When uh, the camera is stopping, to actually try to brighten up the background of the moon and when the moon becomes the dominant subject in picture and then we will see how the structure is uh, coming up on the surface of the moon. Here it comes, you see it? Here is the structure of the moon and now let's wait for a moment. It's very hard actually to keep the phone steady and to hold it steady if you do this handhold because 50 times is a lot of zoom. But then in a moment we are seeing a first picture here and maybe we do another one, uh, trying to actually meet the light on the moon to get the right uh, exposure. And uh, let's see if we do another shot here. And then I think we stop for a moment and later look at the result. So my next attempt to zoom the moon was in the night shot mode, where everything is basically going automatically and which should be optimized for night shots. So let's see how this is working in the night shot mode. So first of all, let's zoom back and then let's switch from photo to night and then let's start to zoom all over again. At the beginning, like before, the moon will just be a white disk because the camera also takes into account the background and then the moon becomes the dominant object in the picture. And then we start to see the structure on the surface of the moon. See actually how difficult it was at a 50 times zoom to get that phone under control. But uh, in a moment, I'm going to actually press the shutter button. And then, uh, like always in the night shot mode, it will ask me to keep the phone steady. And then we see how the phone is taking the shot. So you see the structure, that's the moon. Click, done. My last try was again on the primary lens, but then with AI enabled. And uh, you will see that uh, taking exposure then works slightly different. Uh, there is basically some focus points trying to detect the moon and I think it also recognizes the moon and then we take a third shot and then we are going to look what the result is. So first I had to go back from night to photo mode. I'm on the primary lens then and now I enabled AI and now you will see when I zoom at a certain point in time it says moon at the bottom of my live view. So the artificial intelligence algorithm correctly recognizes the moon and I can take my shots now. So from time to time I uh, tap on the moon in order to meet a light, but uh, actually the automatic AI mode is quite nice here. So I played about 15-20 minutes, tried the uh, different things, also tried the manual mode. Um, but I think the best picture I achieved in the normal mode on the photo section on the primary lens and then tapping on the moon trying to keep it steady tapping on the moon to meter exposure and i'm going to show the best shot now so here's the best shot i was able to produce on that evening with that legendary moon zoom on the huawei p30 pro and i think it shows the structure of the moon quite nicely but i think you can even get more contrast and more contours out of that shot if you import it in lightroom which i'm going to do now